All right, so now let's start talking about our bathroom. We have our outside walls. We did our explode tool. So all these are separate pieces. <clears throat> you learned how to place these blocks in. I remember I, und I undid that part for the trim so I can move this over because this door might want to end up going off to the side here or there. Um, let's see, I'm going to move it. Really typically, you don't really want a door just hanging out right in the middle because that kind of ruins and kills the space. I'm going to put it about here. I'm going to have my door off to the side this time around. Okay, so what I would do, move tool, select this, oops, start over, move tool, okay, select that, hit enter. I'm going to use this as my base point right here on the end of the door jam. I'm going to move it into the corner, and it is code and typical for doors and the door jam to be three inches from the wall. Say there's a doorknob here and this one flying open, this doorknob is going to go right through the wall. So I need to move tool, select this again. Select the base point. I can move this as far as or right as I want. I'm going to hit 3 for 3 inches. So it brings it over a nice even 3 inches. So we can have our door right off to the side there. All right, that might change again. So let's just leave that there for now. Okay, so about our bathroom. The minimum size for a bathroom is actually 5 by 8. Yep, 5 by 8 or 40 square feet. I know this is the shaft, but we'll just follow that anyway, just kind of make, because my blocks are designed to fit in there pretty easily. Uh, let's say we want our bathroom. Let's say it's up here in this corner. So I'm going to do an offset. Uh, let's say, let's do, uh, let's do 5 feet first. 5 with apostrophe, don't forget that. I'll move this down. Let me go ahead and do offset again. This time, let's do 8. Apostrophe. Go that direction. Yeah, because of this shack, this might shrink down a little bit. And we have a thickness of our walls all around, so I'm going to offset that again. 4.5. Offset both of those out. So now we've created a space for our bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim this out right away. And then it's also proper to trim out these as well. You may as well just do it right away. Just get it done. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a mess in the end and have to trim all these out when you have an entire floor plan. It's going to be very time consuming. Okay, so now let's look at some of our bathroom blocks. Go insert. Go browse. Go back out to plan blocks. Let's look in bath. Oh, uh, we're not going to have a six inch tub or maybe we, or a six foot tub. Maybe we will. Let's see. We're definitely going to have a toilet. So let's just choose a basic toilet. These are some of these commercial ones. This is toilet number one. Let's find out where we want to put that first. Or let's just put it in. Leave that on there. Hit redefine. Okay. I'm going to just snap this in pretty much anywhere for now. Click. There we go. I'm going to do insert again because we also need a sink and we also need a tub. So I'm going to look at, let's see, tubs. Yeah, basic. We can do a tub corner. I don't know if we really want a urinal in here. That'd be weird. Yep, I'm just going to choose this basic tub right here. We can always flip that around. All right, I'm going to hit OK. Redefine. All right, so then there's a the tub. Uh, I'm just going to snap this off to the side here for right now. And then you can angle it whichever way you want. It's probably going to end up being this direction actually yeah so it's going to snap in right up here i'm just going to put this right here for now actually oh there we go let's we'll snap them just like that even easier uh, this toilet there obviously isn't going to work because it's in a weird spot right next to that tub um, but really typically better i think this is going to be if we move this tub put that up here rotate we don't use that too much i can either select rotate up here or i can select my object and do a right click rotate that seems to be easier I'm going to check myself at base point, and I'm going to make it go that direction. So now I can snap it in here and see how it fits perfectly in there. Hence, that is why we made this 5x8. So this 5-foot tub will fit directly snug inside this. Okay, so we're going to have to have our door, and we also have a sink. So I'll probably put our toilet and our sink here as well. Let's put our toilet in... The well, toilets are by code had to be 18 inches on center away from objects. So I'm going to rotate this so it's that direction. Make sure your grip is on the wall. There you go. So you create that gap. Um, let's see. I'm going to leave that there right now because I don't know if I want my sink or if I want 
that there. So let's look at some sinks then. So insert, browse, we're already in here. Oh, here we go. Yep. The sinks, probably just a basic one like this. We have some that are on a pedestal. And these ones are just kind of generic with a little kind of like a like a little casement on the bottom, like a little cabinet underneath. That's a pedestal. There's a little vanity one. Yeah, let's choose our vanity one. Let's do that. Hit open. Hit OK. All right, yeah, I'm going to snap that in. Yeah, I'm going to get this kind of close. I'm going to track that. Oops. There we go. That might be kind of weird to get used to at first. All right, so then I'm also going to do move. I'm going to snap this base point in right here on the ends. Now our toilets, they need to be 18 inches away from our from other fixtures on center. So I'm going to put this, let's see, right here. So I think now if I do move, and I just grab that middle again, I go to the right and I do 18. Yep. So now if I put in a quick measurement from the edge to the center of the toilet, it should be 18 inches, 1 foot 6. That is code for your toilet to be. That's where it just has to be for distance away from other objects. I'm going to select all three of these guys, and I'm going to put them on plumbing. Make some green. Last thing I need here is a door. Go to browse, go back out one. Yes, it's a lot of clicking, but we want a probably not a three foot door. This is a really small house. Actually, three foot interior. Do we have a three foot interior? Oh, I don't even have a three foot interior anyway, so. Oh, yeah, I guess we do. So I'm going to go with a two and a half foot left hand. There you go. Hit OK. I'm going to snap this in here. Make sure it's going this direction. I'm going to do my move tool. Snap it all the way to the corner here. Do my move tool, move tool again. I grab the end. I'm going to move it all the way to the right. Doesn't matter how far, as long as I put in three. Enter for my three inches. Select my door. I'm going to put this on my door plan. Trim it out. There we go. The last thing that this little room is missing is a window. Uh, we can either have the window like here in the bathroom, which might be kind of weird. Sometimes it happens in little homes. Probably just one like right here, right above the toilet, right here in the middle might be a good spot. So let's go insert, browse, and then let's look at windows. All right, so this is, again, not an 18 inch. This is a one foot eight. And then we have a two foot. Uh, 24, 26, uh, let's try, let's try it, this one first. Two foot four, so yeah, that's 28 inch. Let's try that one first. Hit okay. I'm gonna go in the middle of this wall here, so we should be able to find the midpoint of that interior wall as long as you did all your trimming correctly. And I can move this right up to there. And right above the window, this might be good. So I'm gonna check them right in these measurements. So this was here to here. Yeah, two foot four. Yeah, 24. Yeah, so yeah, it's a two foot four, not a 24 inch window. So two foot four. I think that looks pretty good and fits there pretty nicely right above that toilet. So I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to delete that out. I'm going to put my window on the window layer. WN, not elevation, just WN this time. Trim out my parts for the wall here. Some of these are your notes a little weird. They don't fit exactly. So all you got to do is maybe just redraw in that line there. Not too sure why that happens on some of these, but not a big deal. Just redraw the line. All right. And there is your bathroom.